Union College has been part of my life for a long time. I was an undergraduate here from 1977 to 79. I transferred here. It was a great education, small classes, a willingness on professors' parts to really challenge us, to put us into small groups, to listen to what we had to say. You could probably write down anything good and fine and nice about Union in a quote from me, and I'd be willing to sign it without looking at it. Probably be easier to say the one or two things maybe that concerned me about Union, but I can't even remember what they were. It's just an unbelievably wonderful, beautiful campus, small enough so you can know the professors and your peers and your classmates. Union is a good small size school. Most classes that you're going to take at Union are going to have around 20 or less than 20 students. So you can get a very good relationship with your faculty. You're not going to have a lot of giant lecture hall classes. We have some of those, but most of our classes are in a more intimate setting. Or I find it much easier to pay attention or care about what I'm doing. I definitely have a lot of connection with professors. I know most on a first name basis and I think it's really enhanced my education. I went to a lot of other schools. I did the tours and the interviews and Union was really the only place that when I got here on campus I felt like I was home. Union College stood out in that it had both engineering and liberal arts and you know, I'm an engineer, I'm interested in engineering, but I'm also interested in sort of a broader base, and I wanted that liberal arts in there. I find Union College students to be very bright, uh, well-read across um, a broad range of topics, and they care, and I think that's a good reason to come to a place like Union. I spend a lot of time talking with professors about in-class material outside of class, to further my understanding about concepts we may have learned in the book or lecture. Every professor that I've had here, I can get to know really well. All of them know me by first name. I still talk with other professors that I haven't had classes with for a long time. They can help you. They always have office hours. The professors are all readily available, especially if you're coming into the geology or environmental department. They're awesome. They're excited. There's opportunities everywhere. I think a lot of people will work together. So like, as I said, I'm a physics major, but I got to go as an environmental science minor and use a lot of their equipment and their faculty in geo. Professor Holliker was willing to help out with my thesis. I can still go and talk to like Professor Garber and get advice from him, ideas about kind of grad schools or life questions, whatever, even though he's not really my advisor in my department. So there's a lot of collaboration that goes on at Union. The staff here at Union is very local and they're really supportive of the school. I can honestly say I've never met some people like the ones I've met here who absolutely dedicate themselves to their job and are so happy to work at Union, so happy to see the students succeed and sacrifice so much for the school. You end up seeing that the professors spend time teaching and they spend time doing research. And they spend a lot of time helping students with projects and thesis work and this kind of thing. But one of the things that's distinctive with respect to the professors, they all have PhDs, they all have active research projects, and they all have a very deep interest in having students understand science and understand how science works and how the geosciences work. So when you end up coming to Union, whether you take a first introductory course or whether you do your senior thesis, you'll end up seeing that the faculty are active and engaged every step of the way. The opportunities for students at Union College is phenomenal. Students have the opportunity to study abroad multiple times during their four years at Union and I think that that's something that's unique to this situation and I think that our abroad studies are something that students really get a lot out of. The first mini term I went on was an environmental engineering mini term. I went to Brazil. I went to Japan even though my major is neuroscience. I've been to Alaska, Australia, New Zealand, different areas of Peru and Sardinia, Italy. Other friends who went to Australia or Prague or Mexico or England, Italy. And we met all these people from all over. I mean, we made friends who were Japanese natives, who were locals. We made friends with people from all over the world. So I think that's one of the greatest experiences I had through Union, going abroad to Japan. I love Union. I'm about to start my senior year, and I'm really sad that it's going to be my last. Union College and the GEO department have been very good to me and I can't imagine how my life would be different had I have chosen another college. When I got a chance to come back, it was, of course, imagine being able to come back to the department where you received your formative education and then to become part of, of, of the faculty. College is supposed to be a time where you get a great education, but you also grow and you interact with others and you learn how to communicate 
and it was just a campus that offered all of that. Small enough so it was really a, a connection to your real family. It was kind of like a secondary family being on campus. I'm happy to be here and, and to have been invited back and I hope they keep calling me back.